Well, it's your dog Smoke for the Almighty Mighty Field Marvin. I'm in the pot mint with P. Palais. Yeah. Hey, Palais. Meet me at the pot mint. <laughs> Yo, you already know this your boy Parlay, live from the ATM Lounge. And we're in the apartment with Parlay. Meet me in the apartments. Listen, I want to start off by saying, Long Lil Swar, Long Lil We Fly, Long Lil Shouty Low. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to oh. Bankhead, man. You know what I'm saying? Do this for the hood. Hey, man, let me tell y'all something. The way that everybody's looking at the South right now, looking at Georgia right now, Looking at what we doing, I've been seeing this stuff before before the internet was out, and I feel like today's time a lot of these youngins don't really pay homage to the ones before them, and I kind of understand because I, I feel like a lot of them ain't really been taught to to really do that. You know what I'm saying? But you have to. Understand that it was somebody who laid the ground that you're walking on right now before you. Mm -hmm. It was somebody who tore the woods down and made a trail and then took the concrete and put the concrete on it. You know what I'm saying? For people to be able to walk, 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 walk. Foundation. Walk what you walking right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And today I got somebody who laid a, a lot of the ground foundation for a lot of the artists who came after them, including me. You know what I'm saying? In the era that we did. Especially being from Georgia and the part of Georgia where, where, where he's from, it's really ain't considered to be a real high music area. Mm -hmm. But these boys got together, made classical music, created their own sound. Mm -hmm. Let me say this too. They had their own sound now. And it's hard to do that in the industry, have your own sound. You know what I'm saying? Um, Trailbladers sold big records, did big things. Um, when you think of some of this like going viral right now, if the NA were back then, I promise you, these nigga would have went oh viral so many <laughs> times. You feel me? I'd like to welcome my motherfucking brother to the show. Mm. Smoke for Phil Mark. Thank y'all. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's going on, dog? Black. That right. <laughs> With a Y, not an A. Yeah, Blight. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's how we say Black, where we from. Blight. Yeah, Blight. Mm -hmm. How you been, dog? Uh, man, I've been blessed. I mean, I've been blessed. Uh, I like what you just said. Like, you know, uh, as far as like we paid the way. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't, I can't exclude y'all too. I appreciate the love. You know what I mean? But y'all paid the way too. You know what I mean? We were more like the the the, the Martin Luther Kings and the and the Malcolm X's of the South. You know what I mean? We made we paid we made it we 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 made it free. We made we gave people, you know, um, you know, we made them feel like they could do it because they seen us do it. So you know. No, for sure, not for sure. Mm -hmm. So for anybody who been up on the rock, for people who might just not understand, you know, not, don't know their history or anything. Mm -hmm. So for the people who know you, people who know of you, people who may not know you, tell everybody who you are, what's your name, where you from, where you grew up at. Well, those that don't know, you know what I mean? Um, I'm Smoker Field Mob from the from from the Grammy nominated group, the Almighty Mighty Field Mob, I like to call us. Uh you know, um, we had situations with Interscope Records. You know what I mean? Uh, we had a uh, situation with Geffen Records. Uh, we had situations with DTP. You know what I mean? Um, you know, T Pain. We had a situation with Pain. You know what I mean? Like, we've been in the game for a while. You know, like you said, like if, if we had the internet back then, you know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be crazy. That'll right super viral. I tell you that now. I tell you that now. Talking about crazy concepts mm -hmm. to music concepts. So you know how, now I'm going to tell you what you thought about you now. It was crazy, crazy ass shit now. You know how these young niggas now say anything in their music? Anything. You know how they it go. It made no sense, but it's making dollars. Man, you, then you know how you have a lot of these creators now where they say, they might just say the wildest ass shit in their song. Like you got the song, um, do my perky dance. And yeah. All the, you know crazy <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. I I I really think, especially down here, y'all was the first ones really just going off off the path of what rapping was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Telling stories, being comical in your music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Talking about country shit. I'm talking about yeah. to the country sh to the point like nigga, if you don't understand this, you ain't country. Right, exactly. Type shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Why did y'all come out so different? Then was like was that a purpose thing? Was it just 
we, we, now nah, we just gonna be different or or just now nah, this is us like what was the the mind I mean, at the it? time New York was the 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 mecca of hip hop at the time so you know you know they they say the South was slow so shit we were like what's the speed limit <laughs> you know what I mean we catch up with y'all you know what I mean um you know we went to New York you know what I mean just to just to battle. You know what I mean? Whoever, Wu Tang, we we didn't care. Like like whoever, you know what I mean? We went to we went to Funk Flesh Flex and we would call New Yorkers up there. You know what mm. I mean? Like, like come up here, let's see what you can do. Like, like, you know what I mean? Show me what you got. You know what I mean? Cause we already know what we got. You know what I mean? Now, you know, just cause we country as a cornbread keychain don't mean that we can't, we don't have vocabulary. No, y'all have vocabulary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we had a broad vocabulary, still do, you know what I mean? And 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 the style. Was it duplicated? It couldn't be duplicated. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like mystical. If you if you hear somebody trying to rap like mystical, you gonna definitely know. Yeah, it. yeah. I mean, like that was our thing. That was our niche. So, you know, basically, uh, we went up there to just show and prove. You know what I mean? We didn't even care about the money at first. You know what I mean? We had a point to prove. You know what I mean? And so, uh, you know, New York cats didn't like us. You know what I mean? Let's keep it in. No disrespect to New York. You know what I mean? I love New York. Especially back Matter of fact, man, you was kicking it in New York. You Facts, know what I mean? Sure damn well. Um. You know, shout out to New York, but you know, New York was like the 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 the, the, the Ku Klux Klan of hip hop. You know what I mean? Like everybody else, they were they were the white man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they in 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 you know they they looked down on everybody. They looked down on the West Coast. That's why Snoop came and, and kicked them buildings down. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Especially in the South back then, everybody thought we was country. You know what I'm saying? We we weren't really lyrical like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? And that's the point we were trying to prove. Like you know. uh we are lyrical. We can be clever. We are clever. You know what I mean? Metaphors, punchlines. You know what I mean? We was the country. I'm talking about, you know, country-ass niggas that was, you know, going against the grain always worked. Y'all like the country outcast. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Y'all like the country outcast. And Cass felt that way. We went on tour with them immediately. First album. You know what I mean? So, we were big brothers. So, tell us tell us this. How did, how did you and Jay even get together? Well, basically, uh, shit, we were battling in high school. You know what I mean? Like, what high school y'all went to? We went to Monroe High. Shout out to MCHA. Shout out to Monroe. Uh, we went to Monroe High. Monroe High tornado green and gold in my blood, in my veins. Um, you know, lunch was third period, fourth period. You know what I mean? So we would skip and meet up in the courtyard and battle each other. Sean was battling. Sean was winning. Sean was Sean was killing the nigga. And I, I felt like I could do it too. You know what I mean? So I tried it. You know what I mean? So and until until they, but to, until you seen them freestyling, you had not never rapped before? No, I was rapping. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? But uh like battle rap, that's a New York thing. That ain't nothing yeah. we were doing down here, but we was doing it. You know what I mean? Like that was something we was doing in the country, in the Georgia sticks, uh right there in the in the courtyard. And uh yeah, I tried him, and if and and, def- and was victorious, you know what I mean. And so he didn't believe it, you know what I mean. He felt like the crowd took my side because you know not 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 to ride my own dick, but it's mine. But shit, I got them. I was I, I, I you know I had popularity in high school from playing football. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, he felt like the crowd was picking me because you know of my my football status. What you what you playing football? Running back. I played I played tight end and defensive end. I played defense. I like defense. You know what I mean? Uh, I played defense, um, free safety. You know what I mean? Um, I had colleges on me. Like, I had colleges on my nuts. You know what I mean? Notre Dame, D1 colleges. You know what I mean? But they wanted me to go to a Louisville, to a, uh, to, um, to like a, 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 a Junior college. A Juco. You know what I'm saying? Well, you great with fucked up. I wasn't doing, I wasn't even going to school. Like, oh, that's why? Yeah. That's why they were trying to put you on that path. I didn't have to go to school because they were giving me grades because I, for every tackle. You know what I mean, I had to do a just tackling nigga, and I got an A. You know what I mean? So what you talking about? I wasn't even going to class. I'm gonna be there Friday at the game. You, you know what I mean? To get my grades. Nah, boy. So what? what, what, what so what? Sean did try to have re, he had a rematch. We had a rematch. Same day, next day, next week. Same thing happened again. I won again. You know what I mean? So after I won again, he kept trying to battle me. So he beat me the third time. You know what I mean? Now uh, on Sunday in the park. You know what I mean? In the, in the country, you know what I mean? We got it. We in the park. Every, on Sunday, everybody go to the park and kick it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, I, we start freestyling and we put we, we we took it to a whole nother, you know, 
area. We took it to a whole nother crowd. You know what I mean? So it wouldn't look like people were leaning more to my side just because Going of to high Browns. school popularity. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I defeated them again out there. But no, not taking nothing away from them. You know what I mean? Uh, home was on the radio freestyling. I'm talking about like killing niggas on the radio. Like they had this thing called Who Got the Flavor? And Sean was on there uh, just killing niggas, man. I'm talking about I'm talking about he was winning it every time. And that's how he got his popularity rapping. But uh yeah, we did a song together. We were like, fuck it, we'll be we'll be better together than apart. You know what I mean? So we did a record together as solo artists. And the record made it on the radio. You know what I mean? What song was it? Um it was a song called I Made It. You know what I mean? And I'm in high school. I'm in high school. I'm in I'm in the, I'm in the album grade with a record on the radio in my, you know, in my area. Let me get it. I I get it in my area. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to school. I'm at football practice. You know what I mean? I get out football practice, and, 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 and I got to be a rapper, cause, you know, so we, we we get radio stations, the biggest dope dealer in our city. You know what I mean? So, you know, you saw us as a, a good investment. You know what I mean? Get that so, dope, man. You know, oh, so man. Good investment, man. Mm-hmm. Remember, they hit that shit. That shit going to make you go back right mm. there. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. Ain't it right, Hollywood? Look, Hollywood back there laughing. <laughs> yeah, so he one more time. Yeah, yes sir. Mm-hmm. What you see? Mm-hmm. That motherfucker. That that west side. Did that bluff? <laughs> <laughs> so boom, y'all make the record. Boom, we made the record. Shit pop. Dope boy get you. Get on the radio. Okay, did it? Imagine this. Was it on the radio before the dope boy link with y'all? It was on the radio photo, but I did. We, okay. we recorded that shit at a um, in a closet. You know what I mean? With the foam up on the closet where you got. Who studio down, it was? You remember? Um, this dude named ZB. You know what I mean? He he had he was a he was in a band a, 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 a band and he just had a studio. My nigga. Shout out to ZB, man. Shout out to ZB. And uh, yeah, that would happen. You know what I mean? We we did that record and then the dope bush came in. I don't want to say his name. You know what I mean? Uh, he came in and. He paid for the second record, and the second record popped. You know what I mean? And then that's when Greg Street grabbed that mother. What the second record was? Um, we had another record called Project Dreams. Uh, oh, yeah. You ever been broke? Put your hands up. up. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, Greg Street back in the day was Man, like. Out of bed, put your hands up. Yeah. That Greg was y'all's second record? That was the second that record. That y'all recorded? That we did, period. God damn. So the first record y'all did got to the radio. Yes, immediately. Then the second record y'all did got funded. Mm-hmm. And then Greg Street hit y'all over the second radio. We were doing open mics up here. You know, Greg kind of like started that shit. You know what I mean? So we was up here doing open mics, and, and, and we was winning all the open mics that 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 he was doing. We'll drive up here and, and win them, and then go back home. So Greg took the record and put it on six o'clock. You know, put it on at six o'clock in the mix, and the record picked up in the A. You know, what I mean, niggas want to know who is them niggas, who is them country niggas. And so, you know, everybody was copying Greg Street Show back then. You know everybody, I mean? yeah. He was, he was, he was the, you know, DJs from in California were copying whatever Greg Street was playing. So, you know, listening to him, they were what other 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 states like California, you know what I mean, wanted to know, you know, who the niggas is. You know what I mean? so. Boom. So that 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 shot y'all up through the roof. Yeah, immediately. I'm talking about ASAP. Like I met, I met, I met, we had Joe said how. You know what I mean? Smoking and, and, <laughs> and, and drinking and, and whatever else we partake in. So listen. So in two songs, two other two songs recorded. Yeah. Two. And y'all still ain't y'all ain't even graduated yet, have it? I'm in twelfth grade with a record on the radio. You know what I mean? And not just in my town, everywhere. No, in in your town, like all of Georgia. All of Georgia. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um Yeah, I had a choice. Like, I had a choice to sign that deal with Interscope. You know what I mean? It was MCA at the time. Sign that deal with, with MCA, you know what I mean? Or go to college, go play football. You know what I mean? So, you know, I chose the bread. I chose the faster bread. You know what I mean? And, and, and everybody that was supporting me in football, they really just turned on me because they didn't believe in, you know, they didn't believe no niggas was finna be on BET like that from yeah. Albany. It's so a small Albany, yeah. Georgia. You know what I mean? And so... You know, but uh, when that thing hit the hit 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 rap city, you know what I mean? They were back on my nuts. You know what I mean? But you know, 
at the time, like, they didn't believe in it. Nobody believed in it. Nobody in the town believed in it. They, they, just, they weren't fucking with it. They just didn't see us doing that. You know what I mean? Even when we pulled up in the Chevys with the 22s and shit, they still ain't believe it. Like, you know what I mean? They just didn't believe we were going to do that. So, yeah. How, 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 how long was it before that time we talking about now to y'all did y'all first album? How fast? Like how fast? fast. Did, yeah, like, how, how fast we did it come? Our, we recording our album like shit. Instead of going to college, I signed that deal. We recording our, we, we flew to L.A. This is my first time leaving, um, like, I would say the, the Eastern, you know what I mean, to go to over there, uh, to California, like, yeah, that shit happened immediately. Like, we were recording in a month. We was in California the next month. You know what I mean? And so, I just dropped out of school. I stopped going to school. You know what I mean? Like, fuck the school. They said fuck the school. Yeah, fuck the school. You know what I mean? And went to California. And, um, you know, everybody they gradu- at the graduation party, you know, they they, they was wondering why I was there. They were like, shit, what you here for? You ain't graduate? Yes, I did. I got a record deal. I got a record deal. You know what I, mean? about- I graduated. You know what I mean? But, this my graduation. Um... Yeah, we went to Cali and we stayed and we stayed out there for like six months until we finished it, and then they dropped it the next six months. You know what what name was Ram War? The first album was called Ash of the Classy. Six thirteen Ash of the Classy. Y'all on that country hair like that? What you had on that Fubu shirt? Yeah, I had on Jabot. <laughs> Black and hair with the scraps. <coughs> the album, but I'm gonna yeah. tell you though something. That album is a fucking classic. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm gonna tell you, but especially back then, yeah. you couldn't ride without being. Goddamn, dead in the Chevy. My beat that played that song so many goddamn times. Yeah. You got to think this. See, the times is different then. They were box Chevys. Yeah. Cutlass, Regals. Yeah. They were these times where you yeah. put the rims on the car. Yeah. If, if you ain't got no beat playing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and y'all had a, you can listen to that album from top to bottom. Yeah. Literally. Uh, Dead in the Chevy, that shit was, that shit came from True Event. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, um, a nigga I was uh I was I was flipping my little bread with I was doing my little thing with. You know, I uh, I came up shout with the bread, you know what I mean? And uh, I blamed it on my homeboy. You know what I mean? So <laughs> <he got it. laughs> uh, what you said. How was you talking? Yeah. Hold on, you know I like stories. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into I'm into the story. You fucked it up, you came back. He said, Oh my shit that what you said. Raw got it. Yeah, my, my homeboy fucked it up. I fronted him something. I fronted what was fronted to me, trying to look out, and yeah. he fucked it up. So, shit, he was like, look, I done did that fuck shit before. Look, I'm going to give you another chance. So, he gave me another nine ounces. Uh, this time, <laughs> I fucked up the money again. <laughs> what you fucked the money up on this Now, time? if you listen to my first verse on that, it say, damn, you done came up, shot again. again. Ain't no, it's your homeboy fought again. It's your homeboy fought again. Yeah, man. Oh. Rest in peace to um, uh, E.P. Earl Prize. That's who I'm talking about. He did right. He passed away. You know what I mean? But rest easy. Yeah, he used to, you know, he used to, he used to front me to work because he 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 believed in me. You know what I mean? And you know, I came, I, I did good a couple times, but shit, I fall to the side, wayside sometime, and, and might go shopping or some shit. And the home, it's your homeboy fault again. Yeah, fuck it up. You know what I mean? So you know that's, <coughs> that's, 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 that shit really happened. <coughs> but I'm gonna tell you something. Huh? It ain't too many young niggas. From special from that time, who can say they ain't never fucked up a pack? Oh yeah, I fucked it up. I ain't gonna lie, I fucked up. I I, I fucked them up, and I'm glad I fucked them. It was necessary chaos. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it ended. If I didn't fuck up them fur them fur packs that I had, I wouldn't have been able to get my shit get in the consistency yeah. in the long run. Oh, Even when sure. I learned how to goddamn whip that shit, I fucked up a lot of motherfucking dope trying to. Trying you know to get I mean? it right. Yeah, and yeah, I go broke trying to trying to cook it. You know what I mean? But fucking it up. Yeah, man, fucking that shit. I fucked up a lot of money. But shit, hey. So hey, listen, so at this time, boom, now you now you dibbling, dabbling a mm-hmm. little bit. Okay, now I got a little, I got enough money right now. Now I can really do what I always really wanted the motherfucker do all the mm-hmm. time. So let me go do what I want when I'm my thing. Mm-hmm. How hard was it to balance both? Or to try not to get pulled too far in the street shit. Why it's why the music shit going so good. Like, coming from where we from, like, eh, don't nobody make it out of there. You know what I mean? It, it, it's 75,000 people compared to the millions up here in the A. 
You know what I mean? Like it's it's seventy five. That's 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 the population. That's the number. So niggas don't come out of there. Like like nigga, they don't like no basketball, football, nothing. You know what I mean? So when we got the record deal and got after we got the check, it still hadn't done on me. You know what I mean? Oh shit! I went back home. We was we got back in the street. We was, matter of fact, we took the checks that we got from them and came and turned them out. You know what I mean? At home, you know what I mean? We it, we it just didn't sit right. It just didn't, you know what I mean? We ain't believe in it, and nobody did. Not even my city, but we ain't believe in it either. Y'all was check got down, check moving. Check, it, it was happening so goddamn fast. It was unbelievable. You know what I mean? So I'm still on the block. You know what I mean? I, I done signed a, 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 a inner, I, don't, I, I just met Jimmy Iveen. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> The, uh, the nigga that found Tupac, the who signed Tupac. You know what I yeah, mean? Like, too, like Dr. Dre. Y'all know who Jim Iveen is. Um, yeah, yeah I, it still ain't, you know, it still ain't hit me. Because, you know, we, 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 program, we, we program to believe that, you know, or, or program to not believe. You know what I'm saying? So, well, what would you say help you create your, your fun, energetic sound? You know what I'm saying? Uh... Especially at this time where you could have choose to go so lyrical, you know what I'm saying? Or you could have choose to go pimpish, because I know at this time, it's a lot of nigga on that, I'm a player, I'm a player on some pimp type shit, yeah. easy. I think you came out with a style so different from what we was already hearing. It was just like, oh yeah. shit, any nigga saying something. Like, yeah. what, what played a part into you having that sound? Well, I mean, when niggas be spitting, you know what I mean? They be, they be hard, they be too tough, you know what I mean? They be... You know, they, they 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 take this shit too serious. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't take this shit too serious. I like to have fun with this shit. I think goddamn not taking this shit so serious is really living. You know what I mean? So goddamn um you know, do we 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 trying to be, I mean, I took it. I, I ain't gonna say I took it, you know what I mean? I I I I was a kilo, I was a kilo Ali fan, you know what I mean? And um Kilo Ali had that that energy. In his songs, and he, it was melodic. You feel what I'm saying? And it was fun. You know what I mean? It's cocaine. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, the way he said cocaine, the, the whole his yeah. whole yeah, he Kilo about. Ali is a legend. Now nah, debt free, man. Shout out to my motherfucker brother, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to motherfucker cocaine. Kilo Ali, man. What uh, you talking about, man? Kilo Ali, he like rappers had to have a deep voice back then. You know what I mean? Kilo Ali didn't. You know what I mean? Kilo high, Kilo got the high pitch voice like I got right here. You and that man? nigga was the first nigga rapping and singing on his own. Exactly. He was the first sapper, the rap singer. He was the first one. You know what I mean? Uh, <coughs> hey, uh, Chris Brown took from, from Michael Jackson. You see what I mean? And, and, and Prince and Michael Jackson took from Jane Brown. You feel what I'm saying? Kobe, 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 got, Kobe got joy. You know what I mean? Hey, I mean, you know what you can do with the greatest like artists are thieves. Of course. <laughs> Be honest with you, the greatest artists are thieves, man. Yeah. Your great, your your greatest. Listen, check them out. They stole. They took some from somebody and personified it. Sure. So you know, uh, I ain't never told nobody that, but yeah, Kilo Ali was my inspiration. So I took that type of you know songy type of melodic flow and just added lyrics to that shit. You know what I mean? And then not, I got a bunch of children. I got a bunch of kids now. Out what of kids you got? Out of Paul. I ain't talking about uh, from my nut sites. I'm talking about from Oh, for the music, from buying it, from your notepad. Yeah, you know what I mean? And it's all good. I ain't tripping. You know what I mean? Just like you were saying earlier, you know, we, we, we paid the way for that. So you, I was, Kilo was the first doing that. But, you know, I'm, I'm a, you know, just like T-Pain, you know, he Roger Trotman was the first doing that, but we know T Pain for doing that. You know that 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 thing with to your throat. You know what yeah. I mean? Um, but now I'm gonna tell you though, son. Even though you're saying that, I can understand the similarities. But I still wouldn't put both of them. I wouldn't say that they was the same. Now you saying that helps me understand a lot. Oh, they're not okay, the same. I see what you're but saying. they both you use that saying? uh that thing that bro, you know what I'm talking about. They used it and T Pain did it in his way. That auto tune, you know what I mean? Both on you, the auto tune. T Pain did personify. T T Pain did it in his way, into well, uh, you know, not to forget Roger Troutman. You know what I mean? Zap. You know what I mean? But you know, if it wasn't for Zap, you wouldn't get no pain. So he's the way the motherfucker him out of. Yeah, he's putting in my, and, and, you know. But technology today, we we got we got Pro Tools. 
<laughs> I mean, we could got them plug ins. Yeah, plug ins and shit. So we could, we could do more shit than they they can do. But that made them some bad motherfuckers. Like them motherfuckers were some bad motherfuckers that keep stacking that shit on their own instead of pressing a burden like we do. And that shit stacking shit. So yeah, man. Uh, Kilo Ali. You know what I mean? And and, and Andre three thousand. You know what I mean? If they had a baby, that's me. For sure. Nah, for sure that. For sure that. Let me tell you something too. <clears throat> That I was excited about to see, too. And, um, rest easy to uh, John. Mm-hmm. When y'all on the route to the two to add when y'all did that damn video. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a hell of a combination. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was a hell of a combination. Hey, you know man. what I'm saying? Home ain't no actor. Now, home being himself, that ain't acting with, really? with what you see. How, how, how is John Witherspoon, man? Like, how he is really, how he is. Yeah, how he is on TV. Uh-huh. Matter of fact, if you seen, um, uh, Brooklyn, Brown Pie in Brooklyn. Like, that's when he was in his purest form. He, Friday, he did his thing, you know what I mean? But that vampire in Brooklyn, watch that motherfucker. That's that man. That's how, that's how he is, you know what I mean? That's his that's his personality. He ain't faking and none of that. Like, he he ain't got to turn it on and that, you know what I mean? What you need to do is turn the cameras on. How was that video shoot? That video shoot was uh, a dream come true. Uh, shit. I mean, we 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 manifested that shit because we came up with a treatment before the album came out. You know what I mean? And that's and uh, we was able to pull that shit together. Like the nigga got damn like 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 he right here. He go with a spoon right here. We said this and he is. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was lovely. And then the group is back. Then the, the see uh, video dance vixens back then were way more easier. You know what I mean? They were trying to get on. So. <laughs> they were trying to do that. Get on. And so, you know, they had the Western, though, over there by uh, Lennox Mall back then, the W bike then. You know what I mean? And so, yeah, man, we we, we had a, a great time. You know, uh, uh, a lot. <laughs> we had a great time. Yeah. With them, with them models back then. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was easy. Nah, ain't nah. I mean, they got a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. You know what I mean, they want to be famous now. Yeah, and they were charging the high, high back. I want to be on that. They back be then, famous. you give them a hot hundred, and they got them in the video. Oh no, this is a fault now. Oh, it's a fault now. Yeah. Oh man. Damn. They be, they be That's why they on OnlyFans. <laughs> what are you talking about? So then, now, boom, y'all doing this. Album, songs going crazy. I get nominated. Mm-hmm. Do you remember where you was when you first heard that y'all was getting nominated? Yeah. I was in New York again. Not to keep talking about New York, but uh, we was on 106 and Paul. We had just did 106 and Paul. The video was number two. The Georgia record. It was number two on 106 and Paul. And, uh, you know, soon we got off stage and performed Georgia. You know what I mean? They told her, yeah, man, y'all, 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 y'all Grammy nominated for this record that you just performed. You know How I mean? did the record come about? I had that record in high school. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, we just ain't had a mean. It was supposed to be on the first album. But, you know, Ray Charles from Albany, by the way. People don't know that. You know what I mean? He did some Albany facts, field mark facts. Uh, Ray Charles from Albany, so, he, but... His folks still ain't give a damn that we were from Albany too. So we couldn't really get the sample clear. You know what I mean? Uh Luda friends with uh the new Rachel, uh, uh, uh Jamie Fox. You know what I mean? And so Luda was able <laughs> Is that to new Ray? <laughs> yeah, the new Ray. The blue Ray. Yeah, he 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 um he they shot it through like that. Yeah, they they popped us and so you know Luda was like boom. Luda was going through it with Tip at the time. You know, uh, they, Tip was really trying to assassinate the character by saying, "But you're not from you're not you're not you're not you're not peachy, but you're you're windy. You're from <laughs> Illinois." Yeah, you know what I mean. So, uh, I think this record kind of like shit Ti up. Like, look, you know what I mean? It where you it is it, it, it's, it's where you at, not where you're from. You it was a big mean? ball. Yeah. Uh, no disrespect to y'all, you know what I mean? But at the time, T.I. was taking big shots, you know what I mean? And, and, and trying to assassinate Luda character. And how, I, was that, how was that tension right that time, especially with you being around them? And then you got to think, these is time where niggas is outside. Yeah. Uh, 
that time, uh, I got a mark in my head right here. But T.I. and Little Beef, right? T.I. had a show at the Visions. You remember Vision? For sure. Who, who, he had a show at Vision. Don't and went, that during that time, him and Lulu were beefing. Mm-hmm. And, and them, them, them PSC boy were like, you know, you with DTP, like, why you in here? And I'm like, look, I ain't got nothing to do with that. What y'all got going on? Long story, midget. We end up tussling with the PSC boy. And uh, visions and yeah. smack your head with a ball. Yeah, man, I had to get stitches and all that shit. But you know, we won. What are you talking about? I don't even play with them. They should have seen them. What are you talking about, man? No, nah, for real, for real. And no disrespect to T.I. Tip and none of them. I fuck with them, boy. You know what I mean? PSC, boy. You know, that was that bite then. You know what I mean? That's how that happened back then. How the hell y'all get y'all name? Uh, it's the area now being called The Field. I'm doing a documentary on it. It's called The Field. You know what I mean? Um, it's the area now being in, uh, there used to be actual slave land. You know what I mean? And, you know, my um, my granddaddy and, and, and my uncles, you know, they was out there getting money. You know, uh... They had uh, they had the Nick sacks out there back then. You know, you they, they didn't have dro and and, and and all these hydroponic weeds. They had sesamino, ses. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so, you know, them boys had the ses out there on that corner. You know what I mean? We got a college out there, so all the college students they, they wanted to get some weed. They had to go to the field. Where's well, the area where I grew up up at? And I've been in, and I used to tell Sean a lot about it, and took him out there, and he liked it. And you know, we decided to name the group Field Mob. We want to name it after, you know, this historic area that we got down, that we from. So, yeah, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, that shit with two player. Nah, that shit with two player. Yeah, yeah. Why y'all, why y'all ain't keep, why y'all ain't keep dropping no music, man? Um, like, we got into a bunch of trouble, I would say. I would mm. say that, you know, you probably can't relate. I know you can't. You know what I mean? Cause, yeah, yeah. I, cause it's, I know something about you. You know what I mean? Yeah, about. yeah you did. You, yeah. you you were doing your thing and, and, and doing your thing situation house. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and uh, you know, when that happened to you, I ain't I, I ain't want that unfortunate thing to happen to you. But I felt like, man, I, I got to fuck with this nigga. Like, it's the yeah. same shit I went through. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? No, for real, for real. You know, you, you, you get your bread from your rap shit and you got niggas that you fuck with. That you grew up with, that you that's from your hood. You go back to your hood and you finna straighten them. You finna get yeah, them yeah, white too. No, you, you want them to have it on the chain. Yeah, 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 you want yeah, them to yeah. be fly too. Yeah, no you know choice. I mean? You want them to have 22. You feel what I'm saying? And so shit. Uh yeah. Just getting fucked up. Just going just going to, you know, just still in the streets. You know what I mean? At the same time, industry. You know what I mean? But And check keep check. Mission the opportunity for shooting niggas. You try to balance it, on. but you will never, you never will. You know what I mean? It ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think that. I tell a lot of artists right now, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna be a rapper, be a rapper. Mm-hmm. If you wanna be, a, if you wanna be in the streets, right? Be in the streets, right? But you can't do both of them, right? You know what I'm saying? You gotta pick one. You have to pick one. I don't give a damn what going on. Nobody done told you what nobody done said. Yeah. If anybody done survived this long and been super successful, mm-hmm. they just bless. It don't mean everybody gonna have them same type of blessings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So 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 if you're in the streets and you know that you really don't want to take your rap game, your rap career serious, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Listen, just keep recording songs until you get a hit. Then when you get a hit, then you just say, okay, now I'm ready to be a rapper for real. Mm-hmm. Other than that, stop playing, man. Because a lot of y'all rappers, you know what I'm saying, who be street niggas, y'all spend a lot of money at these mm-hmm. studios playing, and then y'all get upset and mad at other people because you ain't pop. This right. shit is not about your money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some people are going to receive blessings at different times than other people are going to receive blessings. Right. It ain't meant for everybody to be a rapper. Check right. out you got a story. Check out you was gangster on your block and you sold bricks and you are in front of this nigga and this nigga. They don't mean niggas want to hit it on the, on, on the record from you. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No? You know what I'm saying? So I just take it like that, man. Mm-hmm. You got to pay attention to shit like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This should be for real. I mean, and to add to that, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, D, today, though, D, it, it's not about talent. You know what I mean? It's about negotiations. You know what I mean? Uh, you can negotiate that situation, 
You know what I mean? And then you can be like uh what the boy with the rainbow cat hair, uh uh six nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, no he ain't got he, he ain't no talented guy. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh he was able to negotiate. You know what I mean? He was yeah. able to negotiate a, a situation for himself. You know what I mean? So these records aren't organic that you're getting. You know what I mean? Uh, now, now, I like that boy, Lil Baby. I think those are good songs. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Um, uh, but anyway, you know, a lot of them out there, you know, I feel like it, it's, it's all because of the machine that they got behind them. You know what I mean? It's all because of the, you know, uh, the machine they got behind them and also... The platform, these platforms that we got now, like that are way bigger than Facebook, you know what I mean, and, yeah. and, and, and MySpace, you know what I mean, like uh, Instagram and Twitter and all these other platforms, like the way they can, you know, like back in the day, they couldn't find you because they ain't, they, they ain't got your manager number. So, no, no, don't, don't you know like in contact with these you. These folk want you out here and they want to give you the check, but you can't get the check because they don't know how to, they ain't got no means to get to you. Nah, nigga, your you, 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 you bio. You Pull up, I mean? right there, right there. Shit, that shit. Just that easy. Yeah. Hit the DM. Hit the DM. You know what I mean? You more, we, they, they more tangible now. You know what I mean? We were untouchable. Nah, fact. I would tell somebody this. I was like, listen, let me tell y'all something. We need facts. Mm-hmm. That way we had, that way it turned a lot of these people who and r and, and record is X into who they was. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the white people were scared to come to the hood. They were scared to come to the bank here to the yeah. pool palace. But they wanted their talent. But he ain't about this over here. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I know him. He went to school with some of them over there. He can go over there. Hey, we're going to make it and I'll go over there and sign some of them boys. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And now some of the same guys who they gave the AR, A&R positions got some of the biggest labels right now. Yeah, they CEO now. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, them type of doors would open up because the music was different then. Yeah. Like you say, you ain't want to know, know none of this. Nigga be listening to your music a whole year, don't know who you is, what you look like, and then nigga be doing shows with your name. Nigga been for them all. They owe her, Pale. <laughs> they owe her, like. Yeah, yeah, they owe her. They owe her. No, uh, for real. You know, uh, honestly, like, you know, uh, I did, do not to be cliche with what I'm finna say, but, you know, Desi Banks, if it wasn't for Franchise Boys, you know what I mean, you know, uh, and this nothing against Desi, you know what I mean? I, I like what he did, you know what I mean? But, you know, Desi, when, you know, Desi, at first it was by Pale, you know what I mean? And it was, and, it, and, and, and it's a Pale in all country towns, I'm sorry. So it's, it's a, I know a nigga, I know another nigga named Pale, you know what I mean? I know a nigga in Griffin, Georgia named Pale, but I know a nigga where I'm from and I've been named Pale, like, you know, he, the pot mix, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man, if it weren't for Franchise Boy, you know what I mean? Shout out to Pimpin'. You know what I mean? Thanks, no man. Uh, if it weren't French Eye Boy, you know, that boy show, you know, he was able to use use that name and, 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 and you know, and build his shit, basically built the whole shit off of, you know what I mean? Palais. You, you know kept me mean? alive. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean, nigga wanted to know Shout who Palais That boy Dez kept a nigga alive. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, like, D dude that rap singing, I, I, I gave it the C, I gave it the uh, kilo, but you know shit, they copied me. They my children, and they and and I, they old daddy. Why you think they don't reach out? Rich homie Quan reached out. Rich homie Quan said we the real celebrities. He said they 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 he, he said they ain't. <laughs> you know what I mean? And he had a good point. You know what I mean? He was like, you know, y'all were y'all were untouchable. Y'all were. You know, y'all were unreachable. Y'all was on 106 and Paul. Y'all was on Rap City. You know what I mean? Like, he was talking about how, like, he wanted to be on them, but by the time he popped, he would, these shows were. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. So he feel like we the real, you know what I mean? Today, the celeb- celebrities watered down. You know what I mean? They ain't celebrities no more. Nah, man, you can go to a goddamn Waffle House and see a celebrity. Uh, especially in Atlanta. Yeah. Especially in Atlanta, boy. Yeah, ain't no tell you. You just be riding down the street, he gonna pull up. Yeah, man. They 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 more reachable now. They they you know, and it's easy to easy to pop, you know what I mean? You could just do some more wild ass shit today and goddamn pop tomorrow. You can go for it and smell it and then goddamn pop. <laughs> Video going viral. <laughs> viral. Cause you did some dumb ass shit. You, know you, I mean? lying. you doing some more music? 
Yeah, I do music. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm writing for Pain. I be writing for for for, for T Pain. Did you put the pen down? Then record. I record. You know what I mean? I do. I just think, uh, you know, my time recording is gone. I think. I think. I think it's time to do something else. You know what I mean? But I love music. I can't help it. That shit hunt me. I mean, I, I can't stop thinking of, you know. It is what it is. You know what I'm talking so you're about. you just going to write? Yeah, I mean, it's profitable. Hey, no, nah, definitely. Uh, shit like that, the way to go now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, I started with Bobby V. I mean, I used to write for Bobby V. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Sierra. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I started back then. You know what I mean? When you was so, fucking with Jazzy? Yeah, fucking with Jazzy. In the studio just every day with Jazzy. You know what I'm saying? Just learning how to. Write records, you know what I mean. So, yeah, it's 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 very lucrative. How was it seeing Sierra go from where she was when y'all was working with her to how she just shot up there? It's crazy, cause like that my first cousin, so I know her from being. Man, a, everybody ain't y'all got their cousin, man. Every nigga, every f- country, every nigga from the country say everybody. That's your first your first cousin. She was a little girl. We were going to the Jelly Bean. Mm-hmm. To the, yeah, you know I mean, I used to come up here for the summer. Uh, ATL that movie, that shit about the Jelly Bean. Yeah, I actually used to go to the Bean. The, the, the name of the movie was supposed to be Jelly Bean. Yeah, Sierra was at the Jelly Bean dancing. You know what I mean? She been dancing like that. You know what I mean? She been like that. You know what I mean? We used to go to the Jelly Bean, and they used to be shooting oozes up there. And so she stopped Sierra from going because they were shooting up there when my grandma came to pick us up over there off Mark Trail, McAfee, over there off County, over there, mm-hmm. East Side. Uh, yeah, that would be my hood at our front here. But, yeah, no, it's crazier for me to see her come from a like, baby, you know what I mean, to that. You know what I mean, no, that's my, that's my, that's my auntie, that's my daddy, only niece. You know I mean? That's my grandma, second grandchild. I agree. That's, that's crazy, bro. I don't yeah, think yeah. nobody ever knew that. Yeah, you know now. What are you talking about? Damn, so when you had, when you had did the song with her, you hadn't already seen her. Already come already on the come up from. from I introduced the- Jazzy to my grandma, and then my grandma introduced Jazzy to Sierra. Wow. My grandma, the reason why that whole So What record happened, you know what I mean? What she was doing? She was present issue. Sierra was too hot at the time, and, and she was too up, and we were too down. We was fresh, you know what I mean? So she felt like she'll be having it. So she'll be helping us more so than us helping her. So I'm like, damn, cuz, you know, fuck with you, you know, damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so we sending the record out to her, and, and we were getting no response. And Luda sending the record out to her. So I went to my grandma. I said, Grandma, I need Sierra on that record. You know what I mean? And she, she said, let me hear the record. She said, long it ain't got all that cursing, cussing on it. You know what I mean? So boom, I played the record. It ain't had, you know, it, it's, it, you know. Anyway, uh, she sent to Sierra and demanded that CC do this record. Like, if it went for my grandma, that wouldn't even happen. Push the button on it. I'm talking about, she called her and told her to do it, told her she got to do it, and it was done. Shout out to grandma, man. Luda couldn't get her to do it. Nobody. Everybody had them sent her the record. The record was hot. You know what I mean? We knew what it was. You know what I mean? So we were sending her the record record that she never got bite. So I'm like, damn, cud, mother, cud don't even fuck with me. You know what I mean? So shit, fuck it. I went to grandma. Grandma got down. Got that shit right for you. Bro, why ain't you never been some movies? Me and that boy right there. Oh, uh, we got movies. I already done record. We got two movies coming out. You know what I mean? Hey. But yeah, why we finna t- take over Tubi. But why yeah, took I mean, that long? My boy Rob, huh? Why it took that long? You should have been in the movie, bro. Yeah, uh, I should have. You know what I mean? But hey. It's time now. It wasn't time then. You know what I mean, it's time now. Hey, hey, God work on his own pace. You know what I mean? So it's time now. And me and my boy Rob, we on, I'm finna take over Tubi. I'm finna keep, I'm finna have some on Tubi every goddamn week. You know what I mean? Uh, my boy Rod, shit, we recording, we working. You know what I mean? Uh, that's, all, that's all Rod do. Yeah, man. You know, Rod, real Benny man. Real hey, Benny man. Hey, if he in the movie with that box. Yeah. He gonna, he gonna be Benny Seagull. Yeah. <laughs> he move that box, he gonna be Benny Seagull, boy. Mm-hmm. I ain't lie. Yeah, we, I watched, listen, I watched the movie. 
He was mad the whole movie. <laughs> Every scene, he was mad as hell. I said, this nigga angry as a motherfucker, man. His name was Dog. Yeah, that nigga was a fool on there. Nah, for real, for real, man. Nah, for real, for real. Hey, that nigga jumped out with that chopper, though, boy. You crazy for that, boy. You crazy. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. yeah. Then went back like in the trunk. <laughs> in that slime season, he went hey, he went crazy on them. Nah, for real. But we got real. some more shit. I got some more shit coming out on that tube and got down. Uh, I got a show coming out. Shay, turn. I got a show coming out. I be do, I've been doing real estate. Besides writing music, I've been goddamn flipping houses and building houses. How long you been uh, doing that? I've been doing that shit like a year and a half now. You know what I mean? But it took a while. So I would say, you know, now this shit really just got them catching on like I want to. You know what I mean? you know, instead of me chasing the money, the money chasing me. But like, uh, yeah, we me, we got a show called No More Bando coming out. Um uh, uh, basically, it ain't got nothing to do with you know us disrespecting bandos. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's just flipping, flip, you know, replenishing abandoned homes. You know what I mean? So what I do is, you know, you flip, you 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 spend your bread on the house. You know what I mean? And then the price, the the, the value of the house go up triple. You know what I mean? Um, it's basically like you know showing niggas like me and you, like instead of. Flipping your money and, and, and flipping the and, and in the bando, you know what I mean. Flip your money by flipping the whole bando. It mo you'll make more money flipping the bando than you would flipping in the bando. Yeah, and you'll make it fast mean? too because they buying the hell out of these houses. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, instead of goddamn, you know, um, trapping out the bando, we tricking out the bando. You know what I mean? You reap. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga on some that nigga on some goddamn DIY shit. For real though, yeah, no more bandos, man. Yeah, they giving game. It's him, Kelly, Gene, Troy. Mm -hmm. They they teaching folks, you know, construction that, kings. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, cause niggas will sell grandma house for nothing. For off a nigga make. They like nah. all, all, all you can lose that bitch to gentrification. You feel what I'm saying? Well, a motherfucker could come, goddamn, you know, motherfucker been, you know, come, come replenish that motherfucker and kick you out of it and raise the price up. You know what I mean? So it's like and you can't pay the taxes. Yeah. So you, so, you, you know, with this show right here, it's showing niggas like you know how to buy the block, man, how to own. Oh yeah, on some, on some, on some, on some street shit, but on some intellectual. Property type shit. Yeah, yeah like you know, you know what I'm saying. saying. You know, niggas yeah. that be locked up. You know, they got them hop out and go open up a goddamn uh, a car dealership. You know, what I'm mean? selling lemons. Oh, they got them. <laughs> uh, uh, everybody trying to get a CDL. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can get that bread. That's, that bread you gonna do with all that right there. You can got them go get in that get a get an abandoned home in your neighborhood and turn that bitch out and got them and and. Sell it if you want to, but I wouldn't. I would keep it because the value of it go up every year. You know what I mean? So it's really about about wealth instead. You you want wealth? You keep the house. You know what I mean? I'll be in beat the uh rent it out. Make some money out that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Instead of just yeah, selling sure. it, you know what I mean? Because if you sell it, you are gonna be done took all the money you profited from selling it. So if, and you got to put that money, all back that money back. back. To, yeah, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, chit nigga, ain't that hard right there? Yeah, it's just you I know. I gotta be on the uh, show. I gotta be on the network. You know, we don't. We 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 were raised up like we don't, we, we rent. That's how we know we rent. You know yeah. what I mean? We don't know nothing about owning it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm really just showing niggas like me and you, like him, like them. You know what I mean? Like you can do it. You know what I mean? Not like sure. you know, it's easy. It's easier than you think it is. But you know, you know, they ain't finna let you know how easy it is, cause you know they trying to keep it to them till they sell. Sure, yeah. No, for sure that. I'm thinking I'm talking big shit. We all sitting down chopping it up. Uh -huh. I'm like, hell yeah, shit. Me and the girl I used to kick it, we we got down, squatted in the minute little mini match for about three years. They're like, oh, that's cool. But if you were fucking with us, we would have taught you you could have owned that house. Uh -huh. Just cause you squatted in that bitch three years. I'm like, damn. Yeah. Them nigga know they shit, bro. Yeah. Oh no, nah, man. Free game, man. Tell what name of that motherfucker when you drop it. No mo bando. You know what I mean? Um Everybody trying to pick it up. We we've we been recording, motherfucker. Bravo trying to pick it up. They ain't coming with the right numbers. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it's called No More Bando. You know what I mean? It's basically just flipping, flipping bandos. You know what I mean? And 
it's we turned it into a reality show. You know what I mean? The 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 the, the, the fuck ups and you know come ups about it. You know what I mean? No, for sure that. Yeah, that hard, man. Yeah, that's tell everybody where they can follow you, dog. Hey man, follow me on uh, Smoke uh, Smoke Field Mall. You know what I mean? On, on Instagram, Smoke Field Mall. That's it. Smoke Field Mall. You know what I mean? What about your Facebook? You don't work at Facebook? Uh, I don't like Facebook because it's local and there's it, it, too much hate on there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. What about your YouTube? YouTube, Smoke Field Mall. You know what I mean? Or No More Bando. N O M O. B A N D O. No mo. No mo. No mo. Bando. You know what I mean? And like I said, it ain't no disrespect what you was doing in that house. It's just to show people that you'll make more money on the house, flipping the house, than you would trapping out of it. You know what I mean? No, for sure. Ain't illegal money, man. Yeah. Free motherfucking game. You already know this your boy Parlay. Mm-hmm. Live for ATM Lounge. And we in the apartment with Parlay. Meet yeah. me in the apartment. In the pot-